Hello all, this video is on single phase motor control over Wi-Fi. We are using Telegram app and ESP32 which is also Wi-Fi enabled. And this is the DOL starter used for single phase motor control. This is direct online starter. It has got two overload relay and a contactor and two contacts. One is normally open which is for green button and another one is normally closed which is for red button. When you press the red button, the normally closed contact breaks and breaks the circuit. When you press the green button, the normally open will make and will start the motor. This is the function of the DOL motor, a DOL starter and it has got a overload relay and a contactor and one start green button, this hold on button and another red button which is normally closed. This is the connection diagram of the working principle of the DOL starter. The phase is connected through MCB. MCB is uh, to the outside of the DOL starter and uh, phase will reach the overload relay and then the stop button and start button. When you press the start button, it will hold on. It is a hold on circuit hold on contact when even if you release the green button it will hold on and then energizes the coil which in turn will uh, run the motor which is connected to the overload relay at the top you can see the overload relay with the contacts and the neutral and phase connected to the oil relay that is 220 volt AC neutral and phase connected to the oil relay at the bottom you can see the contactor the neutral wire is connected to one end of the coil directly you can see the black wire in the oil starter it is connected neutral is connected to one end of the coil and the face this is the yellow wire you can see in the oil starter it is connected to one end of the no contact that is a green button when you press the green button it will make and it will pass through the one jumper wire is there, red wire, it will go to the NC contact. And through the NC normally closed contact, it will reach the face will reach the other end of the coil. So the coil is energized through the contactor and the overload relay will operate. The motor connected to the overload relay will automatically start. So this is the hold on uh, press button to start the start the motor when you press the red button the circuit will break and the motor will be off so this is the principle of uh, DOL starter we use a two channel relay board to simulate this operation on and off operation this two channel relay board has got two relays and two optocouplers the connections are uh, ground IN1 IN2 and VCC that is 5 volt when you this is low enabled so when you apply a ground to IN1 the top relay will operate when you apply ground to IN2 the bottom relay will operate the top relay let us use it as on relay so for that relay we will use the NO contact and the bottom relay we will be using it as off relay in that uh, relay we will be using the NC contact normally closed contact generally each relay has got three contacts one is the common another one is normally open and the third one is the normally closed so for the on relay that is the top relay we are using the no normally open common and open contact no and the bottom relay we will be using it as off relay we are using the nc contact now common and the normally closed contact so no for the on relay nc for the off relay so let us connect the NO wires, two wires, common and uh, NO wire. It will go directly across the green terminal of the starter. That is when you press the green button, it uh, that uh, terminal gets shorted. So across that, we are connecting it. And the NC contact at the off relay. Let us use a tester to test whether it is NC. It goes in series with the... Uh, red button terminal of the starter so you remove that uh, red wire one wire of the terminal from the starter and connect it in series so this our relay off relay contact will go in series with that of the red terminal contact so cut that wire that is remove that wire one terminal and place this uh, nc contact in between the two wires so the nc so the principle is when even with in manual operation also it will cut 
and through relay board also it will cut. So this is the ESP32 Wi-Fi model we are using and uh, pin 38 is ground and pin 37 GPU 23 is connected to IN1, pin 36 GPU 22 is connected to IN2 and we in we are using the 5 volt, this is 5 volt relay board so it requires 5 volt. ESP32 is 3.3 volt operation so it will be taken as a high level. As we are using low level enable, it is not a problem. If you apply 0 to IN1, top relay will operate. If you apply 0 to IN2, bottom relay will operate. So NO of on relay, NC of off relay, we have connected. And motor is connected to the oil relay contacts like this. There is a one and third terminal. We are connecting a single phase motor. This is one HP motor. We have connected that to motor. Now let us see the telegram app. Open the telegram app on your mobile and then search for bot father and then feed in forward slash start. It will give a list of commands. You type in forward slash new bot or you can touch on the sele selected command. Now you have to feed in a name for your bot. Provide a uh, uh, name for your bot and then finally uh, provide the name for your project also the name should end with underscore bot so you will get a bot token from the telegram app note down this bot token this is very important and then search for id bot and feed in forward slash get id get this get id token and get id both are important for this code this is the Arduino code. We have to include the Wi-Fi credential, Wi-Fi header files, and then install the universal Telegram board from the boards manager and include that header file. After that, provide your uh, SSID and password, that is your Wi-Fi credentials, and include your board token and uh, uh, ID. This ID ensures that it operates uh, Telegram app, app operates from authorized mobile, and then provide a a constant unsaid long bot MTBS that is one second mean time between scan messages and create two objects secured client and then bot object using that bot object you send the parameters bot token and secured client and define the GPO pins on relay is 23 off relay is 22 and then under the wide setup we Initialize the uh, pins, GPO pins. Here is output, and according to your relay type, you have to make it high or uh, low. If it is low enabled, you have to initially make it high. If it is high enabled, you have to make it low initially. And then this Wi Fi begins using your uh, Wi Fi credentials. The Wi Fi status is checked, and when uh, connected, it will show the local IP. And uh, this is a wide loop. In the wide loop, the if statement checks if the current time minus the last check time is greater than the defined interval. That is a bot MTBS. If it is, the bot will check for new messages. The int new messages, that is bot.get updates is a function that retrieves new messages from the telegram bot server. Bot.lot last message received keeps track of the last message ID received by the bot. By passing bot dot last message received plus one, it ensures that only new messages, that is those with the higher ID than the last received message, are fetched. The function returns the number of new messages received and stores it in num uh, new messages. The while uh, loop continues as long as there are new messages to process, that is, new messages is greater than zero. The serial dot print uh, that will print the god response to the serial monitor indicating that new messages were received. The handle new messages, this function call process the new messages, it takes the number of new messages as an argument and handles each uh, uh, one accordingly. And number uh, new message equal to bot.get updates. After processing the current batch of new messages, the bot checks for any additional new messages that may have arrived during the processing. Uh, and bot last time equal to millis updates bot last time to the current time so that the next check for new message will occur only after the uh, bot MTBS uh, timing. Now let us uh, check the handle new message function. This function takes one parameter that is uh, num new messages 
which represents the number of new messages that the bot has received and needs to process and then the while handle new messages the function begins by logging the number of new messages to the serial monitor this is useful for debugging purpose and the for loop function that enters a loop that iterates through each new message it extracts the chat id that to identify the sender uh, inside the loop there is a check for the chat id that matches for the authorized uh, sender it also retrieves the sender's name that is the frame name if the name isn't av available it will print as guest and then it will check for the text if the message text is on forward slash on the function active activates the motor by sending the setting the on pin low and high as per the logic of your uh, relay module and then if you receive the ha hash off it will uh, switch off the motor and then the status uh, and uh, forward slash start will give the all the uh, on off status list this is the functioning of the app start and then uh, you press on the on you can see the on relay switching off one uh, switching on and then off the relay will go on for uh, five seconds and then it will go off it will simulate the press button of the green button and similarly uh, by pressing the off uh, the command second relay will go on and then go off after five seconds so it will simulate the break condition so like this we are operating the on and off from telegram app so we will get the status when motor is on you will get after the motor switches on you get the motor on status and when it is off you get the motor off status so this is how the app works and the wi-fi is required at both ends from the mobile end as well as at the esp32 end thank you for watching